Fallout 4, raved as the game of the year before it even came out. The game with the pet dog, power armor, and the commonwealth. So Fallout 4 was marketed as an expansive and open world action role-playing game set in future Boston, 210 years after the Great War had destroyed much of the United States. After a dramatic opening scene, you are dropped off into the wasteland, free to play the game as you please. But remember, you're out to find your son, so maybe you don't want to goof off too much. Bethesda games have a certain charm to them, huge games that seem to be much wider than they are deep. Role-playing games with serious stories, yet nothing seems to stand in our way of ignoring them and just robbing NPCs instead or stealing someone's bread. Sometimes, there is very little player agency, and most of the time, combat is an afterthought. But, if you accept those facts from the beginning, many games like Fallout New Vegas and Skyrim can be very enthralling video games. They can be. So let's answer the hard question with Fallout 4. Did it fail? Fallout 4 may be a good game, but it's not a good role-playing game. Much of the role-playing you can do in Fallout 4 is very restrictive and often ignored by the game itself. Conversations in Fallout 4 are limited to binary responses such as good and sarcastic. Evil acts, outside of killing the NPC itself, are few and far between. Talking to Piper in Diamond City, for example, there is no option to ignore her questions when you're being interviewed, or when you're given the title of General of the Minutemen after a few trite tasks, or better yet, when Paladin Dance looks at the player as a hero, regardless of his or her actions leading up to the conversation. These static conversations can come across very associative and diminish the illusion that your role-playing choices, quote-unquote, have any effect on anyone. Todd Howard of Bethesda himself admitted the very same thing when he said that the dialogue system in Fallout 4 didn't work as well as other features. In Fallout 4, Bethesda wants you to be the good guy. The affinity system, which replaces the karma and faction systems of prior games, also does nothing to promote player agency because, in the end, it doesn't really matter. Fallout 4's role-playing can be an illusion, and choice a delusion. Now, other issues, while minor, are still worth mentioning. The graphics were barely passable, the animations still looked bad, and the game shipped with bugs that took weeks to patch out. But Fallout 4 was still an enjoyable game underneath. The combat was improved, yet still not great by today's standards. The characters were quirky and fun, and there was so much fun stuff to do in the Commonwealth. The reception for Fallout 4 was, and has been, very mixed. The average scores for Fallout 4 are 61.6 for users and 86.4 for critics on Metacritic, based off of 13,600 reviews. Now, this discrepancy between these two groups is large, However, not uncommon when you consider that critics have a tendency to be less critical on the average. Because the critic scores were high and the game came with a slew of pre-order bonuses, Fallout 4 did end up selling very, very well. The game banked 750 million US within the first 24 hours of its launch by selling 12 million copies worldwide. 1.25 million of those copies were exclusive to PC on Steam, however today that number has risen to 4.5 million. Now to date, Fallout 4 has surpassed Skyrim to be the most successful game in the history of Bethesda, selling over 20 million copies on all systems. Fallout 4 broke Grand Theft Auto V's record for having the most concurrent players online in a Steam game for a single day not developed by the Valve Corporation, 470,000. While that number has gone down over the last two years, naturally as it should, Fallout 4 is still one of the highest played games on Steam. I challenge you to find a single player game, regardless of release date, that has an average daily player count of 25,000. The Witcher 3 can't touch that figure, not even Skyrim. And people are still watching this game on Twitch too. Although it doesn't have a huge amount of people, Fallout 4 is beating out even multiplayer games like Battlefront, Dark Souls 3, and even Street Fighter 5. So why are people still watching and playing this game? Fallout 4 has been supported by community-based mods and several DLC packs since launch. While the DLC has mainly been seen as an afterthought, given the over-reliance on settlements and building, there have been many great mods available that have extended the life of the game, including an alternate way to actually start the game.
Fallout 4 was a huge success for Bethesda and is around the 25th best selling game of all time. Now of course this means that Fallout 4 did not fail commercially, however there is more to the equation than simply numbers. I've got to ask the question, should we ask for more from open world games if they call themselves role playing games? Fallout 4 is a large game, but not very deep. It hints at many things, but explores them very little. It waves choice in front of us, but builds a game around us that doesn't seem to care about it. Deep down, Fallout 4 was a good game, but perhaps not the role playing experience that we all hoped for. Fallout 4 did not fail as a game, but it did fail as an RPG. Thanks for watching everyone, feel free to share your thoughts regarding Fallout 4 in the comments section with me below. If you guys would like to support this channel, please subscribe to Downward Thrust and consider checking out my Patreon. You guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you in our next video.